What is digital storytelling? Digital storytelling is a creative and fun way to communicate stories, experiences, or ideas by using photographs, videos, and animation with spoken words. And it is exactly what I'm doing right now. I am the voiceover narrator of this story. To create your digital story will allow you to know yourself more, explore your ideas and opinions, and better understand some aspects of your life, especially related to conflicts and adversities. The first ingredient to create your digital story is creativity. You do not need special technical skills to put it together, but you do need some helpers like paper, pens, color markers, everything that can stimulate your creativity, an online platform to create the video, a voice recorder, your phone can perfectly serve for this purpose, a video and an audio editor app. Now that you have all these materials, get ready to work with your team. We need a good idea. Coming up with an idea for a story is probably the most challenging part. These are some of the steps you can follow to make the process easier. Step 1. Brainstorming A brainstorming circle is an opportunity to gather and share experiences or stories related to some themes, family moments, special objects in life, special people you have met, adventures, bad experiences, etc. Step 2. Find the story. Look at your ideas and find two or three possible stories that you might use. Take pen and paper and write down your stories as if you were telling them to a friend. Write quickly without much filtering. Step 3. Choosing the best story. Now you have two or three possible stories. To see which one you are going to use, answer to these questions. What do you think the story means? What is it really about? What is the most important moment in the story? What is this moment about? Did you learn or realize anything new? Try to describe the moment in more detail. What emotions are connected to this story? Step 4. Write your story. Now it's time to write your story down. Imagine you are telling the story to a friend. Use a fairly informal style, use simple short sentences and keep your audience engaged. Here are some helpful tips. Remember, stories have a beginning, a middle and an end, but a really good story does not necessarily follow a chronological order. Reread your first draft and show it to a friend or family member. They might spot errors that you might not have seen. Even professional script writers and journalists need proofreaders. Step 5. Selecting images. Once you are done writing, now it's time to select pictures that can accompany the narration. Be sure that you have the consent to publish and share personal pictures. Always ask for permission. Step 6. Producing your story. It is time to produce your story. Your story will consist of one or more pictures, possibly some music that enhances the meaning and emotions of the story, your voiceover. That would be me! Step 7. Recording and editing your story. There it is, where the magic happens. You have now to record and edit your story. You can use all the apps I showed you at the beginning of this story. 
My advice is keep it simple. When recording your script, choose a quiet place where you or the person who is telling the story can relax. Check for volume level, background noises and other interferences. While recording, speak slowly. Don't hurry, your recording does not have to be perfect. Just make sure the story and emotions get across. Step 8. Publishing your story. Once you are satisfied with the results, you need to export the story in a video format and share to the teacher, friends, family members and others and ask for feedback. You can still make changes to your story, but once it is fully published and out in the open, making changes will be a bit harder to do. Before publishing, make sure that you have all the permissions to use pictures, music, sound effects, etc. Preferably in written form. It has been quite a journey. Now, this is your turn to tell your stories. Use them to inspire others. I can't wait to see them, can you?